Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 15th of 2023 is titled Betelgeuse Eclipsed. So what do we see here? Well, let's zoom in at our picture and take a look. And what we see are actually two images side by side of the constellation of Orion. Now, Orion, the constellation of the hunter, is a prominent constellation in the winter sky for those in the northern hemisphere. And we see the three prominent stars going across the middle of the image and for the belt. And then down below that is Orion's sword. The bright star bluish star toward the lower right is the star Rigel and the bright star to the upper left is the star Betelgeuse and that's the star we're actually looking at here today. Now if you look at the stars in these side by side images you can see that they look approximately the same brightness in each image with one distinct exception. So if you look at Rigel it's about the same if you look at the belt stars they're all about the same. But Betelgeuse is significantly fainter in the second image on the right. Now, why is that? Well, that's because this occurred during an eclipse of Betelgeuse. Now, we're used to talking about eclipses in terms of our sun and moon. And we get solar eclipses when the moon passes in front of the sun. And we get lunar eclipses when the moon passes into Earth's shadow. However, other objects can eclipse one another as well. And an asteroid, if it happens to be lined up exactly with a star, can actually eclipse it and dim its brightness for a few seconds. Now, it's not going to be visible all over the world. It's only going to occur from a very narrow range and, in fact, much harder to find than a eclipse such as of the sun, which also occurs in a narrow range of Earth. And this one stretched from Mexico up through the Gulf and across the Atlantic Ocean into Europe and Eurasia. So though if you weren't in one of those very narrow regions, you would not even have seen this eclipse because the asteroid that eclipsed it would have passed either above or below Betelgeuse, giving us no eclipse. But if you were in just the right location, you would have seen that Betelgeuse would have gotten slightly fainter for just a couple of seconds. Now the asteroids move relatively fast considering the distances uh, and the size of the stars. So it's going to pass very quickly in front of it. And therefore it will dim and a couple seconds later it will reappear. So if you don't catch it at just the right instant you would not have seen seen this you had to be looking at just the right time. But we can get this and this was the asteroid known as asteroid 319 Leona. And really what we're seeing is that it was casting a shadow that stretched all the way from the asteroid belt back here to us on Earth. Now these kind of things could occur and an, what do we call an occultation or which is really any type of eclipse can occur but it is relatively rare because it takes an almost perfect alignment. The asteroid itself is very small and looks like only a point of light from Earth. In addition, Betelgeuse is very tiny and apparently in the sky. While it's a giant star, it is so far away that it appears at little more than a point of light. So they have to be lined up almost perfectly for one to block out the light from the other. And that would be the asteroid blocking out the light from the star. So take a look at the image on the left. You'll see Betelgeuse, the reddish star to the upper left hand side is rather bright. And in the second image on the right hand side, that same star is relatively faint. So that was our picture of the day for December 15th of 2023. It was titled Betelgeuse Eclipsed. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.